WFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we have a sea of green. You've got the Dow up 273, about 9 tenths percent, 1 to 3 tenths for the S&P. That's 52 points. NASDAQ is up 2 percent, 243. Russell up 2.5 percent, 43 points there. Semis are up 4 and 6 tenths percent, 114 points. Tranny's up 1 and 6 tenths, 216. Gold's up 3 bucks. Silver's up 2 pennies. Lights recruit up 5 bucks. Natural gas up 72 pennies. 30-year Treasury trade out at 138.13. That's off one point and 12 30 seconds out there. Let's go spend a little time. Take a look at what our cash indices charts are communicating to you and I. So in a moment here, we'll be over there. If we take a look at the Dow. Dow trading above its oscillator and change line. It has a buy the D point pattern for its daily time frame. It has a rose momentum indicator bottom for its weekly time frame. Price is going to go target its evening star from the trading day of June the 28th. That high out there is at 31,885. You get a close above that, you'll have an A to B equals CD to the upside. The S&P 500 doing something similar. It's going to go target its swing point from June 28th. That high is 39,45. You get above that, you've got an A to B equals CD to the upside. The NQ is trading inside that swing point. Point from June 27th, a close above 12, 175.98 will generate an A to B equals CD to the upside. The Russell 2000 taking on resistance is bearish engulfing candle. Uh, if price is able to close above 1792.60, A to B equals CD to the upside. That's right, Jared, here. No A to B equals CD to the downside. Those patterns completed a while ago out there. If we take a look at the semiconductors, they have an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. Today looks like the day of confirmation of that by the D point. This was the only indice that really did not have a bottom signal for its daily or its weekly time frame out here. This gap to the upside, gaps are our friends. Gaps are both bullish and bearish. A gap to the upside is bullish. A gap to the downside would be a bearish signal. This suggests that the semis are going to go target the June 28th level. The June 28th high out there is at 2758.52. I believe what the market was waiting for was waiting for the semiconductors because it's very odd for a market to rally without the semis. Not that the semis couldn't have rallied, but what we're looking for here is bottom signals. And that's what you've got in the daily time frame for the semis out there. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. And I'll be back with you tomorrow, 1 o'clock sharp. Have a terrific Thursday. We'll see you soon.